Oh, hello again, everybody, and welcome to Today in History. Happy Valentine's Day. Today we look at February 14th. So, today is St. Valentine's Day, the feast day of two Christian martyrs named Valentine. One a priest and physician, the other the Bishop of Turini. Both are purported to have been beheaded on this day. The custom of sending handmade valentines to one's beloved became popular during the 17th century and was first commercialized in the United States in the 1940s. Today is also the date in 1848 that James Polk becomes the first U.S. president to be photographed in office by Matthew Brady. In 1876, uh, rival inventors Elijah Gray and Alexander Graham Bell both apply for patents for the telephone. In 1912, Arizona becomes the 48th state in the Union. In 1924, Thomas Watson founds International Business Machine Corporation, IBM, started today. 1929, the Chicago gang war between Al Capone and George Bugs Moran culminates with several Moran Confederates being gunned down in the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And in 1979 today, armed guerrillas attacked the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, Iran, uh, which of course begins the Iran, Iran hostage situation. Born today, 1817, Frederick Douglass, slave and later activist and author. 1819, Christopher Latham Scholes, inventor of the first practical typewriter. 1859, George Washington Gale Ferris, inventor of the Ferris wheel, and in 1894, Jack Benny, comedian, radio and television performer, and violinist, died today in 1808. John Dickinson, American lawyer, governor of Delaware and Pennsylvania, signer of the, uh, uh, of the uh, Declaration of Independence and the Constitution for Delaware. Uh, today is National Organ Donor Day. It's National Ferris Wheel Day. National Cream-Filled Chocolates Day, and of course it is Valentine's Day. And today in music, 1985, Whitney Houston, a debut album by Whitney Houston is released. It wins Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Performance by a Female, and it was Billboard's Album of the Year in 1986, Whitney Houston. So those are the events uh, for today in history, February 14th. I hope everyone has a great afternoon. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Take it easy, everybody. Bye for now.